Hey everyone, this is a video on how to relaunch using Shadow Labyrinth's 5A during the command grab setup. The main idea is that while delaying your tech is a useful option for evading Asterius' grab, it's possible to punish them for delaying too much. There's a few quirks on it, but I'll explain them in a bit. First, I'll show what happens when you don't tech. As you can see, if you don't tech, you will be relaunched. You'll lead a chunk of damage, and you end up in the same situation. Now let's try teching immediately. So basically, this option evades the 5A, but I'm still in danger of being grabbed. I'll show how to take advantage of this in a bit, especially considering that they'll want to jump the command grab in this case. Let's try delaying our tech just right. Alright, so here we evaded the 5A and the command grab. So what happens here is that I had to wait a certain time before the, the game allows me to do a relaunch, and I can't avoid that. E even if I could attack early earlier, I would just get a yellow combo which wouldn't lead too much. This is why I always do 5A at a specific time. All in all, this is really not much different from using Jump A uh, in terms of risk reward, but there's a few things worth pointing out. Almost everyone should know by now how to use delay tech. However, not everybody knows how to delay it properly to avoid this variation should you choose to go for it. Even if they do know, you can use this to your advantage since it serves as a way to condition them into tagging at a particular time, essentially funneling them into delay tagging at a specific point. You can use this knowledge to delay your entire setup by just the right amount. I mentioned earlier you can take advantage of people tagging immediately, and you can do so by simply pressing 5A again. This will cast your jump start up and they won't be able to block it. Let's show that real quick. As you can see, the dummy is set to block everything, and the dummy couldn't block the second 5A. This is mostly useful versus characters that can't reversal you in the face and make it hurt. So for example, in a slab mirror, this will be very useful, since her DP won't do anything against the jump cancel 5A. Now, it's safe to assume that you have time to do the relaunch in three main situations. First of all, ending a combo early that still allows B air guillotine as an ender. Second, a fatal counter combo which also ends with B air guillotine. Or finally, just ending a bread and butter with SB air guillotine like I've been doing. So, so for example, I could just do this, and I can relaunch. However, if I just do like a standard auto combo to see and end with a guillotine, I don't have time to uh, to relaunch. By the time they st they begin to stand up, they can already block. Now. For a fatal counter combo, well, this is not really like a standard fatal counter combo, but but as you can see, I can relaunch. And for SB Guillotine, I already showed you guys at the beginning, but something like this, you should always be able to relaunch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.